Hello there, Response here from My Mighty Motion. Very excited about today's uh, video recording. We're going to be working and understanding the nervous system in a deeper level. We understand that uh, muscles have only 20% of uh, an understanding of how we're working with the body. So the main thing is when we are in an, in, an environment, 45% of the information that's coming in into our brains comes through our eyes, the visual area. The 35% 30, uh, comes in for the auditorial uh, area too. So that leaves us only with 20% of the muscle, the kinetic part, to perform any task that we may have in front of us. So it makes sense for us to, for, to work and focus more on the visual part and the auditorial part, then the muscles will be able to function much better because we have much clearer information on what to do and how to coordinate our bodies to a better balance and equilibrium. So we're gonna be focusing today on the, on the walking part and understanding how the hips move when we walk. Hips move, as I'm gonna be showing you right now, and a vertical axis and a horizontal axis. As we get older, the center of our bodies get stiff and then we start losing the motion on that and, and uh, unfortunately we get adapted to it believing that that's the way we should be aging. I believe it's different and my purpose for, for you is to engage in what we're going to be presenting and practice these exercises. These exercises are being very helpful to help my, my clients how to move better and have more efficient walking and running and throwing and many other things. So we'll be doing those exercises soon and um, let me know how you feel after that. Thank you. Vertical dimension of walking. Start by sliding, gently sliding your right foot down as the left foot goes up. Alternating this motion you can feel how your hips go up and down. The whole pelvic area goes up and down as you do this. Repeat 20 times in each side in a very slow motion. Pay attention to your breathing, nice and gentle as you move there. The second movement, we're going to bend our legs and drop the knee into the space between the two feet. Notice how I roll my body as I drop the knee. This allows the, the full uh, motion to be more smooth by creating a rolling motion out of the, of the torso as I drop the leg to the side. But the shoulders, notice that the shoulders stay in place as I do this. Purposely, intentionally inhale as you drop your knee to the center. And each time that you do that, look for doing it a little further down. Another point here, you want to make sure you, the knee that it stays still it stays upward. Keeping the legs in the same position, now we're going to lift the pelvis first and then continue by pushing your knee upward. This allows, again, another uh, rolling action. And this time it's a little bit noticeable where my neck, my head also rolls as I'm going up. It follows the opposite direction of where, where the, the lift of the, of the pelvis goes up, when it goes up. Inhale, creating an arch, and again, and this is just how we walk. That's the, that's the uh, vertical motion there. 
we get them prepared now to do the combination of the vertical and horizontal uh, dimensions of axis of the pelvis and that's how we we execute the walking as we're standing up as you can see on this motion we're going to lift the hip and simultaneously we're going to bring the opposite leg up as we do this motion here the sensory motor mechanism gets activated when we do all these motions but to create a new memory in gram and delete the files that we have in our memory these exercises will allow you to get into a better habitual motion as you walk nice and easy on the arching as you do that making sure you put pressure on the heel there there uh, is bent that is a very good activation of the of the gluteus muscle and as you can see on this part the groin gives a really good stretch by keeping you your knee straight up towards the ceiling and you see also how my my leg rolls I'd work as I'm rolling to the side and then I'm coming back down my foot moves upward too I mean my toes point up to the ceiling more very important for us to uh, to do these motions slow and these motions gives you the best results when you do 20 repetitions for for side so we do only five repetitions here so uh, now test and see how much of your back is touching there and you should feel that like your back is far more relaxed there we'll continue right now and bring it putting everything together on the standing position for you to see uh, how you can put it all together so you can see when you're walking how my torso rotates and mimics the motions that we just practiced Okay, it's, a, it's a contralateral motion and it's, it's a swinging, a nice swinging of the arms as we do that. I'm exaggerating that for you guys to see that. Okay. So the motion of your hips. So in this motion, you can see we are measuring and see how the motion forward and backwards is, is executed there. Practice these exercises every day and it will give you a really good uh form of, of walking and uh, please let us know how you're feeling how you're doing with these exercises give us some feedback subscribe to my channel and i uh, will be seeing you soon thank you so much and keep on moving